It's the National Football League on EA Sports. And if it's in the game, it's in the game. It's the New Orleans Saints and the Minnesota Vikings. And it kicks off next on Madden NFL 24. Well, later tonight in November, snowfall is forecasted to hit the Twin Cities, but right now, calm outside, and of course, a calm day inside U.S. Bank Stadium in Minneapolis. Coming up, we got a good matchup on tap here, as it'll be the New Orleans Saints taking on the Minnesota Vikings. Brandon Gunn, so pleased to be joined, as always, by Charles Davis. A CD, these Vikings had things rolling in 2022. A 13-4 record, new head coach, an exciting offense, but it all came crashing down in another early playoff exit. And that really was because of the defensive side of the ball. They had a terrific record. Would they win 11 games by one score or less in NFL record? Got to get strong on the defensive side in order to get deeper into the playoffs. And then for the visiting Saints, you know, most people might not realize this. You talk about defenses against the pass last year. The Eagles Super Bowl team, they were number one. But coming in at number two, these New Orleans Saints. Remember, they're led by a defensive-minded head coach, and he plans really well on that side of the ball. Want to see if they can continue that and find some firepower moving the ball on offense. Greg Joseph now ready to get this one started, and we are underway from Minneapolis. From his end zone, here's Rashid Shaheed. And he's able to get this across the 20, but not by much, as he's marked down officially at the 21. So here come the Saints to take over for the first time. And here's the new man under center after nine seasons as a Raider. Derek Carr is the guy. It's going to take some time to adjust to seeing Carr running out in a new uniform instead of black and silver. It's black and gold. 35,000 yards and over 200 touchdowns with the Raiders. The Saints more than willing to let him air it out all game long to a talented group of pass catchers in the Big Easy. In his seventh season now, here's Alvin Kamara. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. It'll go as a loss of three right away, and it's second down. Sometimes you just sit back and marvel at what he can do defensively. Speed, strength, quickness, he's the whole package. And that package just wrapped up the runner for a loss. A three-yard loss to start the drive. They'll look to make that up, and then some on second and 13. Finding Johnson on the out route, that's complete. And he's got it past the 30 before he's hit and dropped. 14 yards is the pickup, first down New Orleans. Derek Carr, very precise thrower of the football. What's the game plan for going up against him? You know, it used to be take away the short stuff, I know, but he's more than a dink and dunker, right? And you are right about that. Great analysis of him because he has evolved as a thrower. Now he can push the ball downfield, but still, the number one things you want to take away, short passes, intermediate passes. So sharp, precise, and accurate, you've got to sit on those routes in order to cause him problems. We're scoreless after one. The Saints with the football here to begin quarter number two as they've got it with a first and ten. From the gun, it's Carr. Here's a short one to the tight end, Johnson. And he's out of bounds as he gets this down to the 45. So eight yards on the completion there, and that'll bring up a second down in just a couple. I know sometimes we can get fooled when we watch him make catches, as we just saw him do there, because he really looks like a wide receiver the way he goes about his business. Yeah, 230, 240 range. Yeah, not, not super huge. Maybe not counted on to be that inline point of attack blocker that we used to have in the good old days. But you can flex him out. You can run wide receiver routes with him. You can make him a primary target. And that's how he'll shred a defense. That one covers 24 yards. It's a first down. Second and short. That's a rundown. So it's definitely a good time to go play action if you're feeling it. And they do so and pick up a first down. Could we get a touchdown in this first half after all? It's first and ten. Into the red zone. It's Carr. And that's going to be incomplete. 
And that is first incompletion after a four for four start. Yeah, but they should back off from what they're doing. I like the play calling right out of the gate. I like the tone that they're setting. Keep going in that direction. Now Carr, after the incomplete pass, brings him up second and ten. They'll look to throw again. And a big loss here as he's taken down. The Saints going to call the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with 40 seconds remaining in this first half. Eighth play of this opening drive coming up. This is third down. Now Carr. There's Chris Olave. The Vikings going to signal for the first of their timeouts. So as they talk it over, we step aside. Out now is the field goal unit for New Orleans. Spotted at the left hash, this from 45. And this one is right down the middle. And we have action on the scoreboard just before halftime. It's 3-0. So our initial drive this afternoon results in three. Not sure that that's a statement necessarily, but getting points on the road, never a bad thing. You're exactly right about that. I love how you framed it, right? Not sure it's a statement, but at the same time, you're putting something out there, aren't you? Letting them know, hey, we came to play today. The ball upright on the tee, and the Saints kick team booms it away. And he'll take it a yard or so past the 20, call it the 21. So here's the Viking offense making their way out. They're led out by the rookie, picked 164th in this past draft out of BYU, Jaron Hall. We're seeing it more and more in this league, how teams love to have athletes back there taking the snaps, guys who can throw it and move around and get yards with their legs if needed. He's one of the best examples that we see out there right now. He can throw for hundreds of yards one week and then run for 100 plus the next. He adds an extra dimension that really confounds defenses when he puts it all together. Throwing here is Hall. And that is incomplete. Oh, the coverage a little too good there. And it's second down. That sure looked like a nice call by the defense, and they're very cohesive in their coverage. As soon as he cut inside, they broke on the football and met him as the ball got there and forced the incompletion. Now a second and ten. Back to throw. Hall. Into the hands of the rookie, Jordan Allison. Now the Vikings will use the second of their timeouts as they stop it with 19 seconds to go in half number one. Let's go now, let's go. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Here's Hall. Oh, it stays up, but he can't get away forever. Down he goes. The Vikings going to use their third and final timeout. And with halftime on the horizon, they'll be out of timeouts from here forward. So after the sack, here's second and 14. They don't want to repeat a first down. They'll keep it on the ground. And he'll push forward here for a good little run as the clock continues to run. Nifty running there, but it'll come on what should be the final play of half number one. So we've hit halftime. Just a field goal separating these two teams at the break. As we'll head down to Orlando, that's where we find our man Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. And welcome in everyone to our downtown Orlando studios in this EA Sports Halftime Report. This one's been all about the defense. Just a lone field goal in that first half. 
and as a result, not too much available in terms of highlights. But that's okay. We've got a full half to go. And to bring it your way, let's get back out to Brandon and Charles. Okay, Coach. Yeah, adjustments likely going to play a big role in this third quarter in what's been a tight contest so far. These offenses seemingly still back at the hotel for the first half. 3-0 our score as the second half gets underway. Nuwangu now from his end zone. And the Vikings taking the field here for their second drive of the game. Charles, it'll be interesting to see what adjustments this offense made in the locker room. Haven't really been able to get anything going offensively, virtually nothing in the ground attack either. So certainly something has to change here in quarter three. And I'm pretty sure their friends from the defensive side of the ball told them exactly that because those guys, the stop troops, they've been playing pretty well. They've kept them around in this game. Now they've got some time. The running game struggled in the first half. Opposition knows how to focus on defending the pass here. They've got to re-energize that ground game and maybe open things up for a comeback here in this half. That'll be marked as a 27-yard pickup. Certainly no settling into the drive there. They came right out on the first play and attacked the middle of the field for a big gainer and a first down. From the midfield stripe, they'll look to throw. And his throw is incomplete. But there's an incompletion, partner, and the struggles through the air continue because so far their lack of passing production has led to a lack of points. A good action to this point in the third quarter, just a three-point game, second and ten. Here's Hall. This ball tipped, and it's going to be incomplete. Fortunate maybe to get that back. It's third down. We've seen these defenses make enough opportunistic plays to keep this one low scoring. Flying around, making plays on the ball, and we see yet another errant throw as a result. So now third and ten, a big play to start the drive, but nothing since. Hall to throw it. He's going to get that to his running back out of the backfield. And this is going to be another first down as the tackle's made at the Saints' 27-yard line. Three quarters in the books. This is the National Football League on EA Sports. And we return welcoming you back to Minneapolis. It's been a very hotly contested game to this point, just a field goal separating these two teams as we get set for the fourth quarter. He's back to throw. Limited time left on the clock after that incompletion. So I think both sides are going to savor every second to prepare before the next snap. Because once the ball's in motion, it may be a nonstop push to finish this drive off. Everyone better be on the same page right now. Because I think they're going to try and get several plays off in quick succession if they can. On second down, this is Madison. An incompletion, now a short pickup. That's not going to do it. Yeah, you've got to get to the line of scrimmage quickly, get set up, and aim downfield. What can they draw up now? Time to find out on a third and eight. Back to throw. And he'll be hit as he releases it, and that'll fall incomplete. Partner, they've got one chance left to keep this one going. And I think for you and me, let's think along with their offensive coordinator now, has to think back, cycle through every play of this contest, 
and remember what's worked and what has it. Because right here, he needs the best play of the game in order to keep this one alive. So the field goal unit is on the field as this is a big spot right here. This to potentially send us to overtime. Joseph's got it. And that will tie this game here in the final minute of play. This hasn't exactly been a battle of one touchdown after the other, quite the opposite. But at 3-3 now here in the fourth, it's been an entertaining game considering just two field goals. Yeah, is it really a football game now or are we watching baseball? This feels like a pitcher's <laughs> duel, doesn't it? Ice and tense on the edge of your seat. Have you been scoring this one? A lot of, a lot of strikeouts and ground balls in this one. This one, all we could have asked for. All tied, final minute as the kick's away here. From a couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone. And tackled at the 21-yard line, so a net negative there of four yards. New Orleans Saints, they get ready to set up shop for their second drive. And Charles, obviously not much time left. I'm curious to see if there's enough for them to get into field goal range and try to win this thing. And part of you and I both know the safe calls to kneel and just take it into overtime. But it's also very tough to pass up a chance to win it right now as well. But remember, if you do attempt that, it's got to be a big play downfield and still leave yourself enough time to get your field goal unit out there and kick for the win. They begin on the ground with Kamara. And they'll get him down after a gain of seven, but they'll happily give him that. blows and we need some extra time here to decide who will be the victor 60 minutes just not enough some days to decide who's going to win the game So the Vikings going to get the first chance to possess the football as we are back underway here in overtime. And we will not see a return to start overtime. It'll come out to the 25-yard line. And now out comes Minnesota. And last time able to get three. It's not what they wanted. They wanted six, but they got at least something. They mustered something out of the drive. They'll take it. Just I, I like the way you've described it. Not ideal, but they'll take it. Anything to put some points on the board. But this time on offense, they don't even want to see the field goal kicker trot on the field. <laughs> they want that ball in the end zone. Yeah, they'll be going for six. Now here's a pass on first down that's knocked away and incomplete. That was well played, but that was also an example of a corner who understands his coverage, realized he had support behind him, and could be a little more aggressive in the shorter zone, and did exactly that, knocking that pass away. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. Now Hall. And his throw is going to be incomplete. Well, so far on this drive, they've done some good work. They force incompletions on first and second down, bring up third and 10. That brings up the big question. Do they bring pressure or do they play coverage on this down? In need of a third and 10 conversion to keep this opening drive of OT alive. Paul. Pass complete. It's Hawkinson. And he will have a Vikings first down as they're able to get the third down conversion.
Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Now it's Hall. And that's complete to K.J. Osborne. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. This is a big spot for a rookie QB, and overtime's kind of where you earn your stripes, isn't it? It really is, and we've talked with enough coaches and players about how these youngsters are getting into the game and playing this at such a high level so early. But overtime, that's an entirely different animal, and he's handling it well. They're starting to put together a nice drive. And now a throw in first down there, but it's incomplete. Another nice job there defensively. They've really stymied their passing attempts, and it continues in overtime. And for them to do that, that means they've had to be cohesive on defense. Pressure in the quarterback's face, good coverage of not just the, the wide receivers, but the tight end, the running backs when they try and slip out, and making sure they're at the point of attack. When the ball's in the air, they get there and help force some of those incompletions. Another throw on second down, and this one incomplete as well. I tell you what, that's a veteran play from a guy in his first season in the NFL. A lot of rookies are trying to force something there. He thought better of it, and that was the right decision. Now play number seven of the drive as they're looking at a third and ten. Again, he'll drop to throw. And a the open man. That's complete. And this is going to be another first down as the tackle's made at the Saints 33. One overtime. How about two? We need another. We're still even. We'll switch sides and have that second overtime in just a moment. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. Oh, and it's intercepted. Picked off by the Honey Badger, Tyron Matthew. And the Saints are going to have it with a chance to win the game here in overtime. So their defense gives them the ball back. But now, Charles, you really got to start watching that clock. We're getting closer and closer to this thing ending in a draw. Yeah, you just jump in the saddle on the line between aggressive and reckless, right? Because you want to move the ball downfield and give your field goal kicker a chance. But you also don't want to make the critical mistake and end up with a loss because a tie, you'll take it. A loss, that would be hard to handle. The Saints offense on the field ready to get their drive started. One team squandered opportunity. It's another team's chance to win this thing. They forced that clutch turnover, and now all they need is a field goal here to win this ball game. Could not be set up much better, could they? A takeaway on defense. Now it's up to that offense to find a way to put themselves in position for the game-winning points. Touchdown, field goal, they don't care. Just find a way to win it. Now a first down carry, it's Kamara. And they're gonna stop him right at the line of scrimmage. Just no cutback lane to be found whatsoever. Second and 10. Absolutely love the effort there. The ability to flow from his inside spot and stop that one at the line of scrimmage. Nice linebacker play. Second and 10. Now Carr. Pass complete, Thomas. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. So he hooked up with a veteran there, and in overtime, that's not a bad idea. Go with the age and the experience. Yeah, because sometimes the young guys, they give you the fresh legs and give you all that bounce. But in this type of a situation, sometimes those legs slow down a little bit as the enormity of the moment overwhelms them. The veteran guys, they tend to come through. On the counter, here's Kamara. Oh, good move. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little game. So the OT clock hit zero, and we're still not done. We'll switch sides and need at least one more OT to decide it after this. So not quite a first down just yet as they come up on second and less than a yard. Car. A quick throw there is incomplete. 
Had an open man that time, but ended up putting a little too much heat on it, don't you think, partner? Absolutely. Just needed a touch more air under it. Instead, he fired an absolute bullet. An incomplete pass on second down leads us to third and inches. Here's Kamara trying to run for it. And he's able to work his way down inside the red zone to the 19-yard line. Brandon, what were they thinking on defense there? That looked like they were playing for the pass. That was third and short. Yeah, it was an easy pickup because they handed it to him. That was way too easy. It just looked like absolute confusion defensively. Not sure why they were in that set. Yeah, I'd say you ought to have a few men in the box there. So after the run by Kamara, now another first and ten. Car to throw. His throw caught at about the five. And the Saints are going to be looking at first and goal as they move this down to the four-yard line. A lot of efficiency here on this drive. Heck, this may be their best drive of the game. Yeah, if they'd moved it like this throughout the entire game, we probably wouldn't be here in overtime. But right now, what you just said was the key word, efficiency. Taking care of the ball, move it downfield, get themselves in a position to score, and win. And he is in for the score! absolute stunned silence here as they win it on the road in overtime. Well, obviously, Charles, this was by no means an offensive track meet. I mean, the defenses were the story in this ball game, but hey, they got enough points to get the job done, and at the end of the day, that's all that matters. You're absolutely right about that, partner. In such a low-scoring game, it completely changes everything you had planned to do out there. Fortunately for them, they got just enough scoring to bring home the win. And in this type of a game, the play of their defense, that became one of their biggest keys. That'll do it for us, for Charles Davis and all our hardworking crew. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, find us on Twitter, at EA Madden NFL. From Minneapolis, so long, everybody.